What is going on? Gunners Live coming at you with another Madden 17 online head-to-head -head gameplay. I am the Dallas Cowboys playing against the Seattle Seahawks. As you can see, I kicked the ball off to start the game, meaning I'm going to get the ball at the start of the second half, which is what I 100% prefer. Right here, my opponents are going to do a down and out route to Jimmy Graham, complete it for the huge gain. They're going to do this play multiple times throughout the game, and this is the only time it really worked out for them. Later on, I'm going to force an interception and also bat a few passes away. Here they do a short down and out route to Jimmy Graham. It's not the deep down and out route I was talking about, but they score touchdown and they take the lead 7-0. to zero. Now I'm going to receive the ball right here, get a good amount of yardage on this return, and then you're going to see here in just a second, Ezekiel Elliott on my very first play of the game. He's going to break the long run for a touchdown. 74 yards, he takes it to the house. Anyways, I decided to go ahead and be the Dallas Cowboys. Actually, hang on one second. Check out this down and out what they're going to do to Jimmy Graham. They throw it and I intercept it. So like I said, they only really got a lot of yards doing that play one time and then I pretty much shut it down. But anyways, I decided to be the Dallas Cowboys here for this game because I had three other players on my team this year for fantasy football. I had Dak Prescott as one of my quarterbacks. I had Des Bryant at receiver. And then halfway through the season, I decided to pick up Jason Witten, home in a hit right here. And he's going to get a ton of yards this game as well as make a bunch of huge catches. But anyways, I decided to be the Cowboys because I did have a few other players on my fantasy football team. Unfortunately, my team did go 6-7, so I didn't make the playoffs. I am out of the lead that I was playing in. But somehow today, Le'Veon Bell got me 47.8 points. Had I been in the playoffs, I would have been amazing. But unfortunately, I was. Now, anyways, back to this video, back to this game. I'm the Cowboys, forcing Russell Wilson out to the right-hand side of the field. He's going to make the play to his wide receiver on third down and then on fourth down as well. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to stop them, but Russell Wilson, I forced him out to the right-hand side of the field quite a bit during this game. Later on, he's going to start doing a few QB sneaks before I finally set my middle linebacker to sort of spy on him and shut him down. Here's one of the sneaks that I'm talking about. Still in the second quarter, going to run up the middle here, and it looks like he does get the first down. Now, they're going to do the exact same play right here to score to Jimmy Graham that they did earlier on. I was there as the defender, but for some reason I wasn't able to bat down the pass. Third and two here with Ezekiel Elliott. He's going to get up the middle. Thought he might get a touchdown here once again, but unfortunately he does get stopped. He's going to throw the crossing route here to Williams. He's going to catch the ball and be short of the first down. However, right here I'm going to have Williams going down the field once again. Now remember this play, okay? Williams, he beat Sherman, and he also beat the safety who I believe was Chancellor. Remember that play for later on in this so I'm going to do a very similar one that's going to help me on my game winning drive. On the goal line here, I'm going to throw to Jason Wynn. Like I said, he was eating this game, getting a lot of yards. Here is a touchdown for him. And just like that, your boy has the lead, 17-14. to 14. I do get the ball back at the start of the second half. I'm going to throw here to Jason Witten. And I believe on this play, I throw to Jason Witten again. He gets a good amount of yards. And now I'm actually going to do a few running plays after I do this passing play to Des Bryant. Or no, I throw Jason Witten here again. And now I'm going to do a few running plays. On first and goal, I'm going to do a full back he's not going to get into the end zone and then on a second angle I'm going to do a toss Alfred Morris he's not going to get into the end zone and on a third down right here Ezekiel Elliott he's actually going to fumble the ball so remember this as well later on in the game remember this goal line stand that I'm in now the fullback run did not work and the toss did not work either all right so remember two plays the goal line stand from now and then the deep pass to Williams it's going to come back around later on in the game anyway my opponent gets the ball back after they recovered the fumble thought I might stop them here and force them to punt however he throws in the triple coverage and he's able to convert the first down here's Russell Wilson scrambling to the right once again gonna throw down the field since the ball was up in the air so long they gave my safety time to get over there and I made the user pick so now I get the ball back it's second and ten I'm gonna throw on the crossing route then do a running play with Ezekiel at four the first down now I have all of my receivers and tight ends and running backs out on the sides I'm gonna throw the ball for another first down and hit Bryant for the crossing who did have on my fantasy now check it out right here you see B underneath wide open I accidentally hit the wrong button I hit a for some reason on action like I was looking at B and I threw the ball I didn't go to him and I was like wow did that really just happen so I throw an interception and I still have the lead but Russell Wilson is gonna sneak down the field right here and as you can see I sort of flashed my play right there you see the middle linebacker here the orange circle that means he's a spy on the quarterback now thought I might have this interception my opponent is down now to Jimmy Graham again I am able to stop it but as we keep watching somehow they're going to get into the end zone for a touchdown so they throw the crossing route right there they're gonna catch it now they're gonna throw the pass once again this guy catches and I actually let him into the end zone so look at the clock 51 seconds remaining I decided to let that guy into the end zone just so I could have another drive I'm gonna get sacked on first down so that Prescott that can't happen like he can't get sacked right but I do and I throw the pass across the field to Elliott 
then check out this pass down the field to Witten. Like I said, he was eating this game on third and 12. I was very happy to convert that. Now here is the deep pass to Williams once again on the right side. Remember earlier on Sherman and I believe Safety Chancellor, they didn't cover him. Well, I'm going to do the exact like sort of same route, not the exact same play, but like the same route for Williams. He's actually going to catch it, get down to the one yard line. So earlier on as well, the fullback and the toss did not work. So I decided to go ahead and do a QB sneak. That doesn't work either. And I'm like, oh my gosh, what am I going to do? So I decided, you know what? Let's just go ahead, hand off to Ezekiel Elliott, see if he can get in there. I do the hurry up offense and I snap the ball three seconds, get into the end zone with one second, and I make the comeback in order to win the game. I sent the guy a message GG after this game. Like it honestly was a really good game. I am able to get the victory here once again. Again, playing as the Dallas Cowboys, but that's going to do it for this video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. New videos every single day on my channel. I'm going to live. Thanks so much for watching. I will see you in the live stream later tonight or another video. Somebody to play this. Yeah, take my song, put it on a plate, and get goosebumps every time they play it. Wait, this, this my